Hi, my name is Terry Lee from Sweet Pea Papers and the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group. This is video three in our Vintage Slim Journal Collage Papers book. Say that ten times fast. And this is my design team project for Lime.Arrow for January of 2023. Now, um, we're all the way back on page five. And... Um, I was going to put a notepad here. That's why it says that there. But then I realized by the time we put on a belly band or a pocket um, that the notebook would only be this wide and that seemed kind of silly. So what we're going to do is we're going to put on some stacked pockets instead. Um, and then we'll put some cards in there and then that will give you the writing space. Now I had already cut and inked the paper. And the stack pockets are going to be the same size. So we might as well go ahead, turn it over so I can see, and cut the uh, paper the same width. And we're going to have to do that um, three times. Well, two times. Two times. Okay, so... This one's a little long. Why is that? Oh, it must have been printed borderless. Okay. That's all right. We're going to cut it up. So we need it to be this wide on this one. And then... And it'll be almost the right width. Because remember, this is not the same width as um, half the paper. And then we'll use this too. Okay. So let's make sure this is the same width. And it's not. Okay, let's try it again. I may have to print more paper if I can't get this one figured out. It's my trimmer. Well, it's me using my trimmer. Okay, so we'll, we can use this as the bottom pocket. That would be nice. Okay, then we want it to be, they're going to be stacked. I say we cut it right below here, say where this peach line is. And that'll be our bottom pocket. Then we'll use that as a guide. Because we're going to leave the pockets open at the bottom. So it doesn't really matter how long they are as long as they stick up as much as we want from the top. Does that make sense? So let's cut this one. I know, I'm not even measuring. Isn't that crazy? Okay. So we've got this one. And that's going to be our bottom pocket. We're going to have to ink it. Wish we hadn't wasted this whole piece of paper. I was going to put a small tuck or something on the front of the bottom pocket, but I don't think I'm going to now because I like the image so much. Okay, so there's that. Now, this one's wide enough because we want, oh, and it's printed white on the back, though. Darn. Let's see if I've got another one wide enough. exact right width. 
Okay. And it's white on the back, too. Well, we've got this. We'll use that to, for that, and then we'll use um, this for the top pocket. Oh, goodness. So we'll put this one in here, and we only need it to be, this one's going to be here, then we only need it to be In fact, let's do this. I'm going to cut it off right here. Okay. Then we'll make the other one the same size. We don't have to ink it all the way around. We're only going to see the top. And this is directional, so that's going to be the top. So this is going to go like this. How is that not the same width when it was before and I didn't cut the width? All right, hold on for just one second. All righty. Well, that was interesting. I went over there to print some more paper, and uh, my computer crashed. So then I got that working. Then I printed some paper, and then I cut it crooked twice. <laughs> so I finally have th four pieces that are the same width. Hooray for me. Um, so now they're four and a half inches tall each one. And I need to ink them. Which I just realized or I would have done it before I turned the camera back on. Yeah, I went ahead and made all three the same size because it was just easier. I went into a little uh, inking coma there for a moment. Sorry about that. Um, so we're going to do them like this. But we need to figure out how far apart. So we want the top one. Let's make it we can see that. Let's make it so we can see that. Then let's see if we can do it where we can see that. No, that's not going to be even. What about that? I can do that. Okay, so this one's going to be even right here. This one's going to go to here. And this one's going to go to here. Okay. All right, so let's take these two.
and paranoid now. And I want to glue this one to this one, just down the sides. Where's my line? There it is. Okay. Then we'll glue this to this, going up to that mark. Then we'll glue this whole thing on as a pocket. Yay. I will glue this whole thing on as a pocket. I'm telling you, you know, whenever something happens with the printer like that, then it just keeps snowballing. Or, you know, printing, I mean. Where I cut it wrong, then I'll cut it wrong like three more times. Waste a bunch of paper and a bunch of ink. Let's do this. I really like this right here. I really like that there picture. All we have to do is glue this into the book. That was a bunch of a to-do about nothing, wasn't it? Big folder all. I haven't heard that word in a long time. That's my big word for the day. Even though it's slang, it's still a word. All that rigmarole. You know how your shirt slides back and chokes you around your neck? My shirt is like that right now, and I can feel my heart beating in my face. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> I think I was going to choke. This one's shorter because of this. You could put it all the way up to there if you wanted to trim that little bitty piece out. Peace out, man. All right, now we're on the back. And I was going to do... I still could. We have to remember that the string goes around and it comes around right here. So, let's 
do this. I keep changing my mind about what I want to do. There's that pocket right there too, which I'm not sure whether we're going to use it or not. Boy, I really had that cranked open, didn't I? No, nope, that's better. Not the best, but better. Okay, I was going to put an expandable pocket on. Then I realized that wasn't going to work. So then I decided we were going to put two on. One here and one here. And I think that would still work. So... This was four and a half, and it was a pretty good size. So I've got my paper. Got my little expanders. Set the book aside. Then, here we go again. See if I can get it right this time. Well. I'll be darned. All right, now I need two pieces. Oh, that worked out pretty good. That worked perfect. Let's make it to there. Well, we need a half an inch to fold under. Yeah, if we do five, we should be able to do another five. And that would be two pockets. Okay, there's pocket one. Pocket two. That's where the string goes around. This is going to be down a half. This is going to be, I think it's going to work, people. I think it's going to work. So let's score both of these at one half inch. Let's ink them. <laughs> I changed my mind. Let's ink them. So 
Somebody asked me where I get this, or did I make this? And no, I got it from my friend Cassie. I might have mentioned that earlier at Creative Paper Studio with the K Creative. She makes all kinds of dangles and stuff like that. I have two. <laughs> I have one glue bottle. I have two. I switch back and forth like I'm changing my shoes. You know, my shoes to match my purse. Which I only have one purse. And I only have two pair of shoes. So. Let's hope they all match. You know, I'm going to have to ink the bottom once I fold it again. But I didn't want to forget to ink them. And we're not going to have enough room, I don't think, to put flaps on them. Hmm. Too bad that string goes across there because it would be kind of interesting to do two expanding pockets like this, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be nifty neato? Yeah, see the string would run right across there. Okay. I'm just goofing around. This is how I do it when I do it by myself, though. You know what I mean? I'm, like, talking to myself. Well, you know, I could. Maybe. Until I come up with some of that goofy stuff. <laughs> you say stuff out loud, it helps. Well, that picture actually goes like that, doesn't it? Too bad. Well, it's collage. I think it goes all different ways. Well, I've already scored it there. I was going to say I'd rather see the blue flowers. had any more this width. That is, but I think it's crooked. I don't think it's enough to make two flaps out of before it gets skinny. Mm-mm. We're not going to do the um, policy closures, that's for sure. We definitely don't have enough room for that. I'm thinking we may not need a top at all because they're going to be narrow, so they're going to be kind of tight. Let me mark on here.
So it goes across right here. I can erase that in a minute, but I need to know where it is right now. Okay, so if I put this here. Yeah, I'm not sure I have enough room for a flap. I don't. So should I still make it expandable? I say yes. And then we'll put this one here. Mm-hmm. That'll work. All right. That bottom pocket worked out nice. Yeah, to have a decent sized pocket, we're not going to have enough for a flap. But like I said, they're not going to be. I have to make four of these. Probably should have done this ahead of time, but I wasn't sure what I was going to do. This is coffee dyed paper. And it just happens to be one that was sprayed with my sparkle spray. But obviously it doesn't need that. This was just the scrap that I had. Okay, I'm going to put you on hold while I do that. Well, you're, you better be glad I put you on hold for that. These little bitty skinny things make me crazy. You just fold a piece of paper in half, and then you fold each side back up again, and it gives you this little W shape. And that's your little accordion. Now, the bigger you want it to open, the wider you make the piece of paper and the more folds back and forth you make. Okay? And then that opens it up further. So, you put these on here. Now, you want the point of the W to face outward.
you want to put it right along the edge not sticking out a little bit in is okay I really could have put them down this way towards the fold a little oh no the folds right there so in my opinion technically they're a little too too long but and I'm just gonna go ahead and do both of them at the same time come here my poor fingers They're like, we are not going to cooperate. Well, they're not like that. They are that. <laughs> okay. I folded this one crooked. I don't want I don't want it sticking out. Okay, this is taking forever. There, that's how long it should take. <laughs> Not all that messing around. I watched this movie called Nope, and it was so good. It was so good. It's a UFO movie. And the guy sees it, and he's just like, nope. <laughs> And he walks away. <laughs> it's just like, nope. That was so funny. Do you think we should have cut thumb holes in them? Possibly. Well, no, because we're going to put lace on them. I put lace on the cover. You'll see that because we'll do a quick little, there's not going to be a flip through video. Obviously it's not that big. So we'll do our own quick little flip through here in just one second. Yeah, see this piece right here is the same way.
No wonder I couldn't cut it. Nope. <laughs> it's like I'm not going to go there. So there's our two pockets. Um, they would have definitely been better with. Uh, oh, you know what we can do? We can we can dot them. And in fact, since you're not going to see the dots, I'm not going to waste my clear ones. I'm going to use my black ones. Or am I? No. We'll dot them. That way the stuff will stay inside. Whatever stuff you put in there. We'll put the clear side towards the back. So when you open it, then you won't see the Velcro. But it will be there. Okay, that worked. All right, rescue at the end. So I'll put some lace across the top. I think we still have enough time. Excuse me, I was dying. And this matches the lace that I used inside, some of it. Used a little bit of both. This is what I put on the front, and that's why I only have that much left. extra and I'll trim that off. That's stretchy. Would have been cool if we'd put windows in them. Yeah, I know. I think of that now. <laughs> Plus, I like this picture. Just do the other one. Wow, that was really loud. My sleeve caught the handle of the scissors.
Now all we have to do is glue this in the book. We're on the book. And then we have to tie the string on, which is no big deal. I'm going to leave it extra long and put some beads on it. Wouldn't that be funny to make a three-minute flip through? <laughs> I can't believe I was sitting there the whole time not saying anything to you. I apologize. Again, kind of spacey. I think it might be from the glue. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to even use this pocket. I could. There's enough room. See, there's enough room to use it. I'll decide. I'll decide later. You'll be able to see in the photos if I do. I need to erase this mark. Man, this is ridiculous. put some beads on that too. Hmm. That's kind of an interesting thought. All right. So this is going to go around. Oh, yay. Very close to the top of that pocket. I was off a little bit with my mark. My mark is up here. My mark is up here. And it goes around down here. So it's a good thing I had enough room. Here's the lace I put on the front. So this is going to go around. I don't think it needs to go around more than once. This is going to get in the way. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and do it. I have to pull this up a little bit. I'm doing all of it off camera. I'm sorry. All I'm doing is messing with putting the string through here. Back around and down and enough for beads and knots. Okay, the beads I'm going to use are these beads right here. I've got two colors. The darker ones and the lighter ones, so I'm going to alternate and um, I'm just going to put them on the 
on the uh, string. I'm tying a knot and a knot. Okay. All right. Well, we're out of time, and that's all I have left to do. So I will see you in the next video series, and there'll be photos of this on Instagram, and then you can see um, all the way through because um, there's a couple of cut writing cards that I need to do, like for the pockets that we put inside in the in the back just now, and um, I'm going to put something in here as well. Oh, it does go up further. Um, okay, but this has to be um, can't stick out so far that it goes with this unless this goes on after. Okay. If you know what I mean, because you don't want to um, cover it and then not be able to undo it. All right. Okay. I'll see you in the next video series. And that will be just a second for you and a day for me. Okay. Bye-bye.